So marks the start of our float trip. It's the 8th, it's about lunchtime, and it's uh, rather cloudy, 24 degrees. We were pretty indecisive at the start. There was way too many trees, but we thought, fuck it, and we all jumped in anyway. So both Kristen and uh, Chris have both lost their shoes. All of her shit. The boat's a little bit popped. My toe's bleeding. She's fucked herself up, and it's only just begun. We've literally been on the water for about 30 seconds and nearly fucked it all up. It shall continue. And so after about 20 minutes of walking through the bear infested forest covered in mosquitoes and with questionable decisions, we finally come across to the flat bits. I assume this is where people normally meant to start because fuck the other bit. And so we've managed to get to the halfway point. We managed to stop here on the side of the bank to uh, enjoy a bit of lunch of mystery meat and uh, muesli bars. But we got through the first bit of it. After uh, going through way too many trees than I thought that was possible possibly and basically yeah, nearly drowning a couple of times, breaking most of our boats, I thought at the start I had the best boat and then for the last half an hour I've had to have my finger stuck on the side of it. With uh, our little uh, floaty esky thing is completely fucked at this point. It managed to grind its way up a, uh, a tree. Um, Thankfully, we didn't flip at that point because it would have been AIDS. But for the last 20 minutes, floating and fucking cruising along, I assume we jumped into the river at the wrong point because this can't be a sensible thing. But from here on end, unless the bridge comes up, which I'm told is a fuck bit, if we've missed that and gone the wrong way to start with, it should be pretty clean sailing down to town. If you can see our boats, they're all fucked. We're gonna have to uh, pump them back up again. It's uh, going to be an adventure. And so the thunderstorm has caught up with us. It's, uh, it was nice and sunny for a little bit and then it turned into a pile of dicks. We uh, basically ended up getting blown by the wind into all the trees and kind of jackknifed and fucked it all up. But in the end, we got there. My hand is still stuck into the hole in this fucking boat. Everyone else is still deflating. We've probably got about another two hours to go. It can only end in uh, tragedy, basically. Uh, and so, with about one kilometer to go into town, the rafts deflated completely, and we had to end up swimming to shore. The hypothermia at this point has set in, and it's going to be a walk home. <sighs> what a bag of dicks this was. But a fucking fun day out, would recommend. And so, after leaving that shit fest behind, finally regaining some warmth, as all near-death experience should be, feeding fucking horses. Look at these majestic fucking cunts.